Heartland Golf Course. Good morning. It's another day. We got work again. Got something in my eyeball. We gotta make my bed as usual. We gotta feed the baby fish as usual. We gotta do everything as usual. Same old routine. I ran it again and again and again and again. But we're good today. It's 7.30 in the morning. I gotta get to my first stop. It's about 40 minutes away. With traffic, it's probably gonna be like an hour away, which really is booty. But let's get on with our day. We gotta do the normal morning routine with the bed, with the fish, with the breakfast. And then we're gonna hop in the car. See you there. In my car, I got my breakfast as usual. We got a nice little apple. Uh, we do not have a protein shake today because I forgot to restock the fridge. So I didn't want to take a warm coffee protein shake. So instead I just took an apple. I figured I'll go to like Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks or something and get a coffee after hitting a stop or two. I guess we can go from city to city filming some of the stuff, scenery. However, I did like that idea. It just, it was uh, too much to do while driving. It, it's not safe. Uh, that's just asking for an accident. It really is. And after work, we'll figure out something to do. Maybe go to Top Golf with Colin. That's one idea. And maybe even visit Colin's apartment. I'm gonna start this new trend that I do. It's first thing in the morning. So I get to my first stop. First thing I'm gonna do is meditate for about 10 minutes. I really gotta center myself first thing in the morning before interacting with anybody. And I think this will be ideal for me. There's a bird. Burner right here, like a cop. Every single day, every single morning, that's the goal. Meditate every single morning. Let's get to meditating. Now that was fantastic. That's all I gotta say. It was a great session. That put my mind at ease. It calmed my body. And it prepared me for today. I can accomplish anything. I just hit a few stops. Now I am thinking of grabbing myself some delicious lunch. However, I am near SUNY Old Westbury and we know that Juliana goes there. So what better thing to do than to go stop by, grab some Panera for myself and deliver it to her at school while she's in class. I think she's gonna love the idea and it'll be a fun thing to do. I just need to make sure I know when she gets out of class. I think she gets out around 11.50, so I'll plan accordingly. I'll make sure to eat my lunch and then after I eat my lunch, make sure I time it so that I get there at 11.50, right when she walks out of class. I'm gonna get her the usual. I'm gonna get her the usual, what she gets, which is the broccoli and cheddar soup. I'm gonna get it in a bread bowl and that green tea drink that she absolutely loves. We have arrived at Panera Bread. Let's do it. Time to get my food and then get some food for Juliana. Let's see what's in the bag. That looks amazing. Yum. So we got the usual. We got the chipotle chicken avocado melt. We got my free drink and a bag of chips. I just finished eating my delicious chipotle avocado melt at Panera Bread. And now it's time to surprise Juliana with a little bit of Panera Bread herself. She just said she got out early, so it's time to get there. I'm about 10 minutes away from the school. Let's see her reaction. Soon the old Westbury. Keep left. Time to surprise her. Time to surprise her. Time to surprise her. Surprise, motherfucker. This is a really cool drive up. What's that? Welcome new students. I'm not a new student. If you had any questions, yes. You belong here. Damn, this is one long road to get there. Half a mile? I thought I was already on the campus. All right, we'll see you in a half a mile. There we 
go. I finally made it into the parking lot. Stop sign. Turn left onto Wenwood Drive. At the stop sign. Destination is on your right. I thought I was here. Basically, now that I'm on campus, I just have to find Juliana and we're golden, you know? But I also have to find a parking spot. First, find a parking spot. Second, find Juliana. The next stop sign. Turn left. I know. What is that? I'm on campus. I don't exactly know where I'm headed. I think I'm gonna go this way. Take the staircase over here. We got the good stuff. We're doing that one hand jazz like we did last time. And now let's get Juliana's reaction. You see Juliana. There she is. She's looking at me. Surprise! Oh, what'd you get me? What do you think? I smell the broccoli cheddars. <laughs> Exploring SUNY Old Brestbury Part 2. But this is it. I sit like this. This is a nice little art class. Where do you sit? I sit like the first. Right here, so you're like the teacher's pet. I, when I saw the classroom, I was like, I'm so happy. They got halal food. Should we have that? Yeah. Someone definitely had a rough day this morning. Yeah, someone's chip bag is just dangling there. It's not moving. But Just finished at SUNY Old Westbury. I got Jules her food. She showed me around a little bit more. She showed me the halal food. She showed me where her classroom was. She showed me that our class looked pretty cool. I mean, I'm no art student, but from what I saw, it looked like a cool classroom. Anyways, that was a nice little pit stop, you know, nice little lunch for me. Plus I got her lunch. And now I gotta hit the road and hit a few more stops before the end of my day. I'll probably hit like five or six more if I can. That is a stretch though. We'll see how I do. I don't know if you can hear the air conditioning, but it's really loud because it's boiling hot in here. Middle of a dirt field filled with trucks. That's my job. Gotta get truck parts to these truck companies. Look at all those trucks. In miles, turn right onto I have to turn right in a little bit. Hey, check it out. Heartland Golf Course. That's pretty cool. That must mean we're in Bayshore. I just talked to my boy wrong way. The camera's the wrong way. So I just talked to my boy Colin. Him and I have planned, not this weekend, but the following weekend, we're gonna try to invite one of our friends from high school, make it a little threesome. We're gonna go golfing and have a great time. We don't know where we're going yet, but that's the plan as of right now. And on top of that, when we go out that Saturday, so it's not this Saturday, but next Saturday. We, we meaning me, I'm gonna go and check out his apartment, see what it's like. I think I'll like it, you know? He'll, he has his own house to himself, so it's him and another guy. Time out, I'm merging. So right now it's just him and another guy. I think it'd be well worth it to get out from underneath my parents' roof, you know, living on my own, and I get to do my own thing. I think wow, that is an ideal plan for me right now. I need to be on my own and live my life from now on. Time out, merging part two. We're on a highway. Should I really be doing this on a highway? <laughs> Probably. It's worth it. Yeah, this weekend he happened to be going to Atlantic City, so he's not going to be around. Saturday, Sunday he'll be gone. Look at all this traffic. Oh, I gotta get home. You know, just just a few cars. Not too, too many, you know? I'll be knowing. I'll be home in no time. Watch, ready? Three, two, <laughs> and I'm home. Wow. That was so quick. All that traffic, it was nothing. Because I'm here. And I gotta feed my fish. Ready to get fed, baby? Let's see if she does the trick again. Here, I'll show it. All right, work your magic, baby. Ready? Come over here. Back over here. And then over here. Good baby. She's such a good fish. She literally follows instructions. Now that she's all fed, I gotta figure out what to do. I'm thinking go for another swim. Go make some food, go eat some food, go watch some From. That's the TV series that I've been watching. It's called From. Read a book. Yeah, I made a little daily list yesterday, actually. It just simply says, every day we should meditate, code, workout, and read. Simple as that. Meditate, code, workout, read. Meditate, code, workout, read. Meditate, code, workout, read. Meditate, code, workout, read. Read. We already meditated. Working out. I'm going to go for a swim. I'm going to make sure my legs, because they're a little sore still. 
I'm just gonna, you know, I might just lay on a float and do some kicks and then maybe some laps, you know, just a few. I'm gonna take code, code. That's simple. I know how to do that. I have a course from Meta that'll teach me. Hopefully, hopefully I get that software development job. So meditate, check. Code, check. Workout, pool, yes, check. Reading. It's been a while since I've read, I'm not gonna lie, but we still have my book, The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene that we are gonna read for at least 15 minutes. Check. Boy, is it absolutely gorgeous out today. It's about 90 degrees right now. And of course there's shade on my pool. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, these dang trees up there, they cover up literally all the sun. Anyway, outside by the pool again, I'm probably gonna do 10 laps, four or five using just my legs, three using just my arms, and then two just going normal. After that, I'll do like a max set push-ups for three sets, something like that. I think that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. That sounds painful. Let's get it. Oh, it's cold. I think there was a grasshopper. That one was alive. That bug was dead. That grasshopper was alive, but I don't know if it got out. So I may have turned back a little bit early. Anyway, I cut that off early for none other reason that there was just a massive spider on this football over here. Holy tits, that thing's huge. And it's moving. Ah! But yo, check this out, holy. Look at that thing. That is massive. I should probably get that football out, but I'm a little nervous. Huh. Let's get the football out of the pool. And then in turn, we'll get the spider out of the pool and we can finish our laps. Here goes nothing. Hey bud, I'm gonna get you out of the pool now. So it's out of the pool. It's not very far out of the pool, but it's out. It's like right here. See, that's the pool that I could swim in now. And that's the, that's the spider. He's chilling. Awesome. We accomplished it. We did two laps, just arms, followed by two laps, just kind of back and forth. Now I'm a little tired, that's good. Heart rate's elevated. We're gonna do max set of push-ups, 30 squats, max set of push-ups, 30 squats, max set of push-ups, and finish with 30 more squats. Can we see it right here? Yeah, we're good. So, when I say max set of push-ups, I mean you're just gonna keep going. No like resting at the top, no resting at the bottom. It just has to be continuous until if I wanna take a break and then I'm gonna, if I take a break, we're done there. Then we have to jump up, do our 30 squats at a nice slow tempo to recover for the next max set. So let's get into it. Let's see how I hit this first set. Wish me luck. Let's see how I do. Woo! 
Not too bad. First set I hit 51, now 30 squats. I'm gonna try to slow my heart rate down here. Oh, my arms are so tired already. But we got 51. Let's see if we can get anywhere close. Chances are we're not. Heart rate's a little elevated. Chest and arms are a little tired. I hit 51 the first set. Let's try to get about half that. That would be a good goal, but that's gonna be tough. Let's see how we can do. Let's get it. Oh boy. Jeez, did that get tough. Wow. So I did 19 there. Not my best effort. I mean, what I find the hardest is that there's no breaks, you know? I'm noticing that I really want to take that break at the top, that two second, one second break, just pause. But that's part of the challenge, just to keep going. And that's making this real tough. But anyway, let's get 30 more squats. And then we're gonna go for that last set. See it. I'm gonna do them this way. That way you can see my depth. This is a nice little cool down here. That's 15. We'll do 15 this way. See the other side. Those felt pretty good. My heart rate is a little lower right now but my arms are severely fatigued and they're pumping right now. I feel it. <sighs> trying to get as much breath as I can. Let's hit this last set and just hit it with all I got. This is the last set, so just go, just go. Just don't stop until I literally can't, until I hit the ground. Let's see it. Oh, jeez. Oh my, my arms. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get it. Oh, should have kept going. Dang it. I almost got to that 19 mark, the same level as before. That would have been very, very impressive and I would have been impressed myself. I stopped too shy. It's kind of like, I started to take a little bit of a pause at the top. So I'm like, that's it, I can't do anymore. I should have just kept going though. I'm just gonna hit these 30 squads real quick. Call it a day. That's a wrap. Let's head inside and get a protein shake. Later, get some coconut water. Wow, I'm tired. Ooh, let's check on the spider. So the spider's still chilling. He's just hanging out. He probably thinks he's in the water still, but he's not. I saved his life. Now it's time to head inside, drink our protein shake, make some food, and you know, call it a night. I'm hiding in the pantry because Jules just got here and she's talking to my mom. You can probably hear her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna scare her. If I look through this crack, I can probably see her. That's my brother. He's cooking. I also made chicken strips and mac and cheese for Juliana. I'm sticking my phone out a little crack. So you can see Jules talk to my mom. She doesn't know I'm here. Let's see, that's the door. Sitting. Ha! <laughs> Dang it. You know, I cooked a nice simple meal for Jules and I after scaring the crap out of her. She didn't really get scared though. Yeah. Nice, delicious mac and cheese. Crispy chicken strips. Garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to eat.
Bon appetit. Yeah. Look how delicious this looks. This is like a five star meal for children. This is like, I was gonna say, this is like a gourmet for a kid's, a kid's meal. Hey, Juliana. She's going home for the night. Any last words? All right, it's just about that time. The night's over. Juliana is currently leaving as we speak. Oh my God, who's that behind me? Oh, it's just me. And it was a great day. Until tomorrow.